overdose death of a Portland teenager led federal agents to Greenville, where they made a massive bust of the drug pink. A federal agents with Homeland Security investigations could be seen in hazmat suits at an apartment complex on South Church Street in Greenville yesterday. Two are behind bars tonight, charged with selling the drug, and the U.S. Attorney's Office says they could even face murder charges. Our Addie Hampton was in federal court this morning. She has the latest on the case. Theodore Kelberon and Anna Barrero stared straight forward in court today and remained silent as the U.S. attorney laid out the extent of their investigation that they say all stems back to the February death of that teenager all the way across the country. Cuffed at the hands and ankles, 28-year-old Theodore Kelberod and 24-year-old Anna Barrero were led into Greenville's federal courthouse Thursday morning. That courthouse just a few blocks from the Southridge Apartments where federal authorities say the pair was selling and storing the deadly street drug known as Pink. According to Drugs.com, Pink is a synthetic opioid that comes in a pill or pinkish powder form. Even a little can be deadly. The Drug Enforcement Administration made it a Schedule 1 drug in November. According to U.S. Attorney Andy Mormon, the February 16th death of a Portland teen sparked the investigation into the pair. The girl had a baggie of the drug, clinically known as U-47700, and a parcel with a Greenville address. Together with the U.S. Postal Service investigators, the Homeland Security Investigations Unit conducted round-the-clock surveillance of the pair's apartment complex, ending Wednesday night with a search warrant and the discovery of 9 kilos of the drug, 30,000 in cash and roughly 85 parcels of the drug meant to be mailed out to buyers. Mormon said Barrero also had 20 to 30 parcels on her when she was arrested outside her apartment on Wednesday. Together, the pair faces multiple charges, including possession with intent to distribute, conspiring to possess the drug, those come with up to 20 years per charge, and using the Postal Service for drug trafficking. Prison time for that is up to four years. The U.S. attorney tells me that if they are also charged with murder, they will likely face life in prison. The pair is due back in federal court Monday morning for a preliminary hearing, and we are told then that we will likely hear testimony. I'm reporting in Greenville.